Happy Monday. Finger up and moving. And getting it done today. It's early. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. Probably not in the bestest of morning mood. But I'm thankful and grateful that I am up. I got up at 3.50. I've already done my faith. Um, can't even get a workout. My faith routine. And I'm into my Peloton workout movement stack. Next up is 10 minutes of morning. Uh, 10 minutes. <laughs> Lord. Next up is a 10 minute um Warm up walk, followed by a little Pilates, an old bike ride. So, let me get to it. My pre workout is kicked in, my ears are itching. Does anybody else's pre workout make their ears itch? shooting that left arm out to the side or out laterally. Gently looking over that left shoulder. 15 minute intermediate level hip hop Pilates class I've got for you all today. You just need yourself and your mat for this class. If you have one, you're also welcome to have those soft socks. Stretch your arms straight forward. As you inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, circle them out and forward. Scoop your belly in and back and roll halfway back. Slide your right leg off. Lift yourself up, lift that right leg up. If you need a little bend in your knee, that's totally fine. We're gonna do three. You might need to bring the circles in a little bit to maintain the steadiness, that's okay. Bend your right knee, step your foot to the floor, left leg to the ceiling. Same thing, you can either keep your right foot on the floor or stretch your leg out. Circle, inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Straighten your legs. If you like, you can stay with the bent knees. Inhale, lower, double straight leg stretch. Exhale. Inhale, take a couple of hip hinges up. Hinge your hips up. Breathe in. Lower them down. Hinge your hips up. Inhale at the top. Exhale, lower. One more time. Switch up the direction. Step your feet to the floor. Give your knees a hug and breathe in. And as you exhale, bring your forehead up towards your knees. To Peloton, we are live and loud from London City, London. Yes, team, London is charged up. Hope you're charged up as well. We've got a 50 minute load of pack run today. Smooth, stay safe work with some soul, funk, and disco. Now, load pack run will spend the whole time. Nice and up tall. I want you to push that up that right foot deep into the palm of that right hand and really targeting that right spot, all right? Let's hold here for all the time. 20 seconds. Exhale, think of one of that stretch. Let's hold here.
she's strong. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alice and this is Chasing Bliss, my lifelong pursuit of perfect happiness and great joy. Probably need to change it to my lifelong attraction. Anyway, focus. How are y'all this Monday morning? Um, I wasn't going to pop on. I wasn't going to really be on camera today talking too much. Let me get out my shot. Props, set, design. Stop leaving that cord in my shot. All right, come on. I know it's Monday. Set people, look, you got a remote over there too. What is this? Pins, come on now. Clean my set off. <laughs> anyway, um, but I needed to do, popped in because I needed to do a weight accountability check-in. So the goal last, last week, I said I was 164. I wanted to get lose a pound a week. Weighed in this morning for the official where am I at on Monday, even though I do a rolling average. Where am I at on Monday? I am at 163.7. So, me, she, her only lost 0.3 pounds. Now, I should remove the only. So, let me do that again. Me, she, her lost 0.3 pounds. Hey guys, happy Wednesday, I believe it is. I'm making cupcakes. I was supposed to make them this weekend for my husband to take to work, but I didn't. And I just jumped up just a few minutes ago and decided I want to make them. So I'm making some chocolate cheesecake, chocolate chip cheesecake cupcakes. So, but my batter looks a little thin same recipe so I don't know I'm wondering if it's because of this heat I don't know where y'all are this is bothering me I should put my apron on but it's a heat wave here it's hot and it's humid so I wonder if that's why my batter is a little but when it's usually a little thicker than that when I make these cupcakes so let's hope they come out 
good, y'all. I'm just gonna let this sit for a minute or two before I put them together. But just wanted to pop in and say, hey, I haven't filmed in a few days. But yeah, I'm here, I'm alive. We vlogging, we living, we doing the same thing, so, but yeah. I see my phone's about to die, so I won't be able to talk long. Um. <laughs> take one for the team because y'all saw me making um, cupcakes yesterday and I call them chocolate cheesecake cupcakes and I just want to show y'all what they look like. I'm going to eat one. It's actually what they look like. Let me hold on. One moment. Let's see what I can do here. Can y'all see this? I already started peeling it in because I was finna just take a big bite out of it. But then I was like, let me be civilized and show show the people. Yes, I'm working. Don't worry about it. I mean, none of y'all business. I don't be I be forgetting to clear clear the sit before I come on. But don't be worried about my work. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about none of that. Right here. Focus on this right here. Let me let me pan out. So this is the very first cupcake I made, short story while I'm eating it. I had a cupcake business years ago called Bliss, where I made and sold cupcakes, a little home bakery. The very first cupcake I made before I started my business was this one. Um, it's a chocolate cupcake. And on the inside, it's got cheesecake. Let's see. Y'all see that? And that's the cheesecake and chocolate chip mixture inside. Yes, I'll leave that for it. And these are the very first ones, my OGs. I made these, I made an Oreo version, and I made a red velvet version. Those were the three top sellers, I guess. I then created a peanut butter version of this, which is really, really good. I think those were the main ones I sold. But that's the inside of the cupcake. So yeah, it's really good. This is my favorite. It's just... Hey, be quiet. But this one has always been my favorite. I like red velvet too, but this is my favorite. If you like chocolate cake, you will love this cupcake. And people always say, well, what kind of icing do you use? Is it whipped? Is it buttercream? It's a whipped cream icing. That's all. That's the only way I can describe it. It's not buttercream. 
but it's not whipped cream either. So I don't know. Everybody says the icing is their favorite part. It's almost like a cheesecake too. Flavor. The business was in my hometown where I lived all my life, basically. And when I moved to Columbus, and even right before, I kind of stopped because I started baking them because I liked them. And then it kind of turned into a business. And I enjoyed, like, the customers that I baked for, which was mostly, like, family and friends. Um, but then it got to a point where it started feeling like work. And customers started acting like customers. Unhappy, you know, just, it was just, it, it, it just had got to the point where I wasn't happy doing it. And I didn't do it for the money. I didn't do it because the money contributed to my household. I did it because I liked it. The money was just a little bit extra. I remember when I, my biggest time of the year always was around Thanksgiving. And whatever I made, I would always make cupcakes. And I even made cheesecakes. And whatever I sold, whatever I made, I would just give that money to my kids. Because they love the idea of Black Friday shopping, going to Walmart. And I would always just give that to them. And they can go Black Friday shopping. Like, I just never... It, like I said, it wasn't a business. Could it be a business? Yes. Um, but it, it, it does. It got, it got demanding. Baking is... For me, it was uh, stress relief. And it was a form of creativity. Like, Because you need creative stuff. And creating cupcakes, coming up with flavors piping the ice in different ways just all that was fun to me and creative but when it becomes a job it starts to feel like work and I didn't enjoy it anymore I just didn't enjoy it anymore so I stopped I closed it I closed bliss but I would I would still bake like I would bake for co-workers um I would bake for family I would bake for functions I had at my house I don't know if y'all remember but on my one of my February vlogs I showed y'all Valentine's Day and I bake the cupcakes and I make the icing. And one of the activities was I let the girls, you know, pipe their own cupcakes and put decoration on there and things like that. And it was just a fun old time. So. Hey, y'all, what you got going on over there, y'all? first but i ain't gonna do that to y'all but y'all have a good thursday i will talk to y'all later bye hey blog sorry for the sound quality probably have my ceiling fan going picture quality but i'm in my bed on a friday it's 7 p.m on friday it's 95 degrees yeah i don't say the other part because yeah <laughs> but um 
Yeah, what time is it? 6.34, it ain't even 7 p.m. I am hot and tired and about to do me a little face mask. So I just want to pop on because I haven't filmed that much because my goal is to take you guys on date night because it's the 29th tomorrow and we're gonna do a little date activity excuse me date night tomorrow so take y'all with me there maybe i'll get some footage and i'll be wanting a whole lot to edit because i haven't been ed usually i you know i go through and edit at night when i have some time but i just haven't done that so but anyway i need a mask my skin is dry my skin is is acting weird it hasn't been getting my skin hasn't been getting feeling clean with just one cleanser so i went to a double cleanser and I found that double cleansing does strip a lot of oil off my skin. Like, so if you guys, I use CeraVe, which in the wintertime is perfect. It's not drying and it's cleansing when I don't wear makeup, which is 99.9% .9 of the time. If I wear makeup, I have a makeup cleansing balm that I use. Um, but I haven't been double cleansing, but I think in the summer because of sweat, because of additional, I'm wearing a little heavier sunscreen. I'm needing a double cleanse. And um, so that's drying my face out. So this is my go-to. This wasn't my go-to. I used to use a mask from Walmart. I don't even know what brand it was, but that mask was like a dollar and something. And it was a moisturizing mask. And I used to use that every week. And I love that mask. And now I can't find it. So now I have to buy like the three, four dollar mask, which is similar. It's really good. It is the Neutrogena Neutrogena. Hydra Boost, Hydra Boost, <laughs> Hydra Gel Mask, and it has hyaluronic acid in it. And I use a couple of Neutrogena products also. So this is my go-to when my skin feels dry. So I'm in the bed. I'm probably gonna make a mess. Oops. Um. Yeah. Let me get up. In my bed. Ooh. See that load of clothes? Ignore it. Look at that mountain of towels. Ignore it. But here it is. And I I don't like to use lose that good juice that comes off of my mask because that's product. But it comes in two parts. Like, yeah, let's get it opened up here. Masks are so difficult to put on. <laughs> but this is the mouth. The mouth. Part. I don't know who put it on. I might be putting it on backwards. I don't know. But I'm still feeling product. So. Yeah. Ooh -wee. This is a part I don't like to do that. The bottom mask, I don't mind. And that top part of the mask is so uncomfortable to me. It's so weird. I'm always afraid I'm going to get it in my eye. So here's the top. Ooh, so tricky. Y'all know how y'all y'all will shake the um, last of the spaghetti sauce. Y'all put a little water in there and get that spaghetti sauce out. When <laughs> it gets to the bottom. Don't forget to do that with your sheet mask. Look at all this. I don't know if y'all saw it. But there's a lot. Put on your neck. Put on your neck. It's still product. It's the product still. Just put it on your neck. Put it on your neck. I don't think I got this mask on right, y'all. I know I don't, but <laughs> I got it on backwards. I can tell for the most part. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm getting my mouth. Oh, I'm getting my mouth. Leave it. Let me leave it alone, because now it's trying to fall off. <laughs> and this is falling off. I get a chance to put them on. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. That's better. Yeah, put that on your neck. Get that stuff, get that last little bit of juice out of there. Wash your hands. That's it. That's my Friday. It says leave on.
If I leave around 15, 30 minutes, I don't think I've ever left it off in 30 minutes because it starts tomorrow. But I'm going to lay down, watch something on YouTube, and let this marinate. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Me too, I don't want to. So you're supposed to twist, hold, it, hold that and twist the bottom. There you go.
and they, they're doing the best they can. Mm -hmm. It's a big candle too. This gives it a little bit more of a flavor. I got it. Edgar. Give me some light. Thank you. Are you ready? Thank you. No problem.